Hello. Ignore the turf bang situation I got going on here. I had an incident at the salon. I am well aware that I look like a little Dutch boy. Obvious product placement is obvious. Use code Gengar for 10% off G Fuel, baby. In my last video, I mentioned that a lot of people come to ask me for advice. I know, I couldn't tell you why either. But because I am a high school dropout who did one semester in community college as a psych major when I was 16, I feel like I am more than qualified to help some of you all today. I asked my Twitter followers to ask me for any advice they needed, and I am here to deliver that to you. Let's get into it. So just like my previous video, I will be reading the questions off of my computer. I've spent my whole life chasing the feeling I felt when I heard Tongue Tied by Group Love for the first time. How the f*** do you get that back? So I recreated this feeling the other day. What you gotta do is get a straight best friend who lives every second of her life like it's an indie movie. Her and her boyfriend are gonna get a convertible car. You can't get it yourself because you're gay and you can't drive. Once they have acquired the car, you gotta go to the West Side Highway in New York and drive from one end to the other, top down with alternative music playing. It was beautiful. I felt like JFK. You know, without the death part. But I can guarantee that this is the foolproof way to feel the way you did when you heard Tongue Tied by Group Love the first time. What do I do with my life? Well, Clark, you can make an OnlyFans. Or, if you don't want to do that, you could always fulfill my backup dream. So what you gotta do, it's really simple. You take the bar exam and then you work for a corrupt financial firm on Wall Street. Work your way up the ranks and seduce your millionaire CEO boss. Carry on the affair until he leaves his wife for you and puts you in the will. Once you have secured the bag, invite him down for breakfast. It's his favorite, caviar on toast. It was prepared by your personal chef, Nadia. But wait, as he's eating it, he starts to turn blue and then eventually keels over. You check his pulse, he's dead. You look up at Nadia, who takes off her disguise as a chef and reveals her true identity, a secret Russian spy, who also so happens to be your girlfriend, who helped you orchestrate the entire thing. Once you have earned your inheritance, you retire to a farm in the Midwest with your wife Nadia and you get seven dogs. From then on, you live a quiet, simple life. How do I be as cute as you? So bitches love quirky dyed hair. So what you gotta do is throw some bleach on that bitch. You don't even have to tone it. It doesn't even have to look good. Follow that with some winged eyeliner and some blush on your nose. Like I said, it doesn't even have to look good. But now you've successfully convinced people into thinking you're stylish and quirky. How do I figure out who's a real friend and who's not? I've never been the best with picking out toxic people. So I have extremely high standards for friendship. I value loyalty over everything. And I am extremely hesitant to actually call someone my friend, even if I've been talking to them for a long time. If you won't have my back when I am not around, then I do not want you in my life. Keep your circle small and don't overshare personal details. Typically, everyone has at least one friend that they can confide in, and that's really all you need. Not a lot of people really need to know your business. If someone always tends to pry for more information whenever you are disclosing personal details in your life, I find that you should be wary of them and their intentions. How to not care about others' opinions. Help me, mother. So I'm still working on this, but I only learned how to do this recently at the same time. So a couple months ago, I got in a fight with a former friend, and I decided to turn my life around completely. I decided I wasn't going to take shit from anyone anymore. That's around the same time I created my internet persona. I decided I was never going to let anything make me feel weak again and actually start standing up for myself. I always say, do whatever the fuck you want, but do no harm while doing it. Don't let other people get in your way if you are not hurting them in the process of you doing what you want. What would you say to a person who is too afraid to try something? So I'm diagnosed with panic disorder and social anxiety, so I am afraid to merely exist. What I would recommend is reminding yourself that it really is all just in your head. Like, fear is really, that's all it is at the end of the day. It's in your head. If you know something will be a good experience for you, and you've wanted to try it for a while, why not just do it? I know a lot of my advice is just like, don't care what other people think and just do it, but it really is that simple at the end of the day. DO IT! JUST DO IT! How do you hide a body? Carol Baskin seemed to do a pretty good job of it, so I would ask her. I know Tiger King jokes are kinda old, but honestly, I didn't even watch it, so... I'm really self-conscious about my sweat smelling like onions. Everyone assures me that I smell fine, but all I can smell is onion. Any advice? Alright, well there's two ways you can go about this. Assuming you already shower regularly and wear deodorant and stuff like that, you could have it up and put some perfume or cologne on, whatever's more comfortable for you. Or if it's really bad and you have access to it, you could always see a dermatologist. Or what you can do is embrace it. Paint yourself green and become the ogre waifu that every man has always dreamed of. Shrek is love, Shrek is life. My friend is in an abusive relationship and won't leave. So I've been you and also the friend in this situation. When someone is in that kind of relationship, it is kind of impossible to get them out of it. They have to make the decision for themselves. The best thing you can do right now is offer support as long as you are not compromising your mental health while providing said support. I know it does take a lot out of me when my friends are in bad situations because I'm like the biggest 
fucking empath. But I would say try your best to talk with them about it and steer them in the right direction, even if they're not following your advice. Be patient because they probably do suffer enough mistreatment from their partner. But like I said, don't do anything at your expense either. If it is taking a mental toll on you too, don't be afraid to step away. Like I said, it really is their decision at the end of the day, and you really only can't help so much. How do I stop getting into useless Twitter arguments? Stop having opinions. Any advice on asking people out? I don't want to use alcohol all the time to help me talk to the folks I find attractive. So if you're interested in someone, I would just flat out tell them. I think confidence is key and it radiates big dick energy. What's the worst that could happen? They say no? Okay, you'll just find someone else and move on. I think it's better to lay it out all on the table than waste your time thinking if someone will or will not say yes. What's the best karaoke song to sing while in drag? I feel like you can't go wrong with Womanizer by Britney Spears. It's just such an iconic anthem. Also, you really can't go wrong with Gaga either. My personal song of choice would be Boys, Boys, Boys. How do you feel about internet popularity in general, and how has it affected you personally in such a short amount of time? It was very overwhelming. It has caused a dip in my mental health, which is why I'm, like, not nearly as funny, and, like, I'm still... I wasn't funny before, but I was funnier than I am now. I'm working on getting my mental health back into shape, so hopefully, um, you know, it'll be fixed soon. <laughs> how to get as many stuffed animals as you? I must know. Have a lot of rich exes. Just kidding. I bought most of these myself. Some of them, like, maybe a quarter of them were actually bought by exes. Does it ever get better? So it'll get better when you decide it's going to get better. If you tell yourself it's not going to, it won't. This was a very hard lesson that I learned for myself recently. I mentioned earlier that I decided recently to stop taking shit from people. Not only did I do that, but that was the day I decided to take control of my entire life. I stopped interacting with what no longer serves me. I started practicing manifestation and law of attraction, and honestly, that has helped me tremendously. Maybe I'll make a video talking about my recovery process in the future, but I don't want to talk about it until I know that I am in a stable, good place. I had spent 10 years being depressed, and then I decided to take control of my life and make it worth living. Everything you want to achieve is in your power if you decide to put your mind to it. My brother has trash taste in music. How do I get him a better taste? People with bad music taste don't deserve rights. Bully him. Tell him his favorite artist sucks. If he plays his music around you, scream at the top of your lungs until he stops. Condition him into thinking your music is superior. How do I come to terms with maybe possibly being a lesbian? So I don't really have any advice because I realized that I was queer at a very young age and never really had to question it again. The only thing that I question about my sexuality is whether or not I am attracted to cis men. But as for women, I've known that I've been attracted to women for pretty much my entire life and never really had to worry about it. But don't let that discourage you, because I am one of the only people I know that had that easy of an experience with their sexuality. So although I don't have much to say, I'll let you know that I support you. There's nothing wrong or shameful about it, if you feel that way. You said possibly, so I encourage you to pursue it, maybe talk to some girls, see how it feels. Don't push yourself to do anything that makes you uncomfortable. If it's not in your comfort zone, if it doesn't make you feel okay, then do not do it, okay? And if for some reason your sexuality changes again, or you realize you're one thing or another, that's fine too. Sexuality is fluid, it can change throughout your entire life. You don't have to be one thing for the rest of your life. And if you don't feel comfortable labeling it, you don't have to either. I personally choose not to because I don't know what I am. Do whatever makes you the most comfortable and happy pride. I have a crush on my coworker. How do I finesse? Don't. Don't get involved with coworkers. How do I get over people who are never there for me? Why are you going to waste time crying over somebody who you know isn't crying over you? When you realize and come to terms with them never actually being there for you, it's pretty easy to get over it. Again, why would you waste your time dwelling over someone who never gave you anything in the first place? At the end of the day, you're not the one who lost anything. You're a bad Take that energy and give it to someone who deserves it. How does one keep the demons out? So I made black salt and I lined it around all the windows and doorways of my household. I also smudge myself every new moon and full moon or as needed and I light incense regularly. How do I destroy my enemies in a way that earns their respect? Success. There is nothing more impressive than earning success and being happy while doing it. But honestly, I don't seek out respect from anybody, and I don't recommend anybody else does either. You should do things for yourself because you want to, and not because you're looking for some approval from anybody else. And that's pretty much it. I never know how to wrap up videos, so stay safe, don't do drugs. If you do drugs, do them safely. Use code GANGA for 10% off G Fuel. Bye, guys.